In graphic design and advertising, a comprehensive layout or comprehensive, usually shortened to comp, is the page layout of a proposed design as initially presented by the designer to a client, showing the relative positions of text and illustrations before the final content of those elements has been decided upon. The comp thus serves as a draft of the final layout, and if approved, is used as guide for further design changes and, ultimately, production. Traditionally, the four stages of an illustration or other commercial art creation e.g., advertisement are Sketch — the initial idea roughly sketched out in order to quickly transfer the idea onto a physical substrate Layout — the idea laid out in relative position for further development Comp the idea created in such a way as to closely mimic the final creation, usually as a step toward approval by decision makers. Finish the idea rendered in the appropriate medium for sale, display, or reproduction for traditional media such as paint. The division between layout and comp is more clear cut than for computer generated art. For traditional media, the distinction between layout and comp is typically one of refinement and presentation. Layouts and comps are often done on different substrates because of this e.g., tracing paper for a layout versus calendared bond paper or illustration board for a comp. In this case, a layout done on tracing paper could be laid over other media e.g., a photo to see how it would eventually appear after finish render, and to ascertain overall feasibility, and the comp could be done on opaque bond paper or illustration board as a presentation piece for a client's approval. With computer-generated art, the distinction between layout and comp has become blurred. Since computer-generated art can evolve as one file over time, finely segmented milestones in the development process have less meaning. With computer-generated art, even the sketch stage is often skipped. This has led to a two-stage process, comp and finish. The definitions of each milestone are roughly the same as with traditional media. Even in the age of rapid desktop publishing software, comps may be developed using hand rendering techniques and materials to avoid investing too much time on the computer before client approval of the idea, depending on the complexity of the production task. If there is any three-dimensionality to the design, for example, the design is of a box or of a two-sided piece, a physical comp is preferred to a computerized sketch because fundamental physical relationships for example, position and show through of die cuts, or inadvertently designing Mobius strips can be missed in a two-dimensional sketch. A hand-rendered comp may be useful in helping the client refrain from nitpicking the production quality and focus on the design idea. In the overall creation process there is also a distinction between finish render and final render. Finish rendering refers to the process, and final rendering refers to the schedule. The first finish rendering may not be the final rendering, the first finish rendering could be the first of many renderings, with each subsequent finish rendering needing refinement before the final version is created. The illustration element may incorporate stock photography, clip art, or other found material that gives an idea of what should be visually communicated, before entering any negotiations concerning the rights to use a specific image for the purpose. Picture agencies may encourage such use free of charge, in the hope that the comp image sometimes referred to as a positional image will end up being used in the final product. For this reason, it is sometimes mistakenly believed that comp is short for complementary, as it is in some other promotional contexts. The word comp can also be used as a verb. For example, an artist may comp something up. That is, they will create a comp. Comp may also stand for composition or composite layout topic 
See also Animatic Previsualization Communication design Website wireframe